Today we're doing some regularly scheduled maintenance on the Fiat 500E. It's time to replace the cabin air filter. EVs are easy maintenance, but not maintenance free. And we're coming up on one of our maintenance benchmarks with our Fiat 500E. We're coming up on 40,000 miles. Uh, it was 28,000 miles when we got this car. And so uh, according to the Fiat owner's manual, see if I can get that into the shot, uh, at every 20,000 miles, you're supposed to replace the cabin air filter. And that's right here on the maintenance uh, calendar. And the only thing that this owner's manual tells you to do is that you've got to change it. So I'm going to go through the steps on how to change the cabin air filter in a Fiat 500E. Uh, and we're going to start right where I'm at on the passenger side of the car. Everything that we're working on is in the passenger side footwell. And the cabin air filter itself is right behind here, but means we've got to get this panel off. And this panel has a torque screw right here. We have our handy dandy multi-purpose screwdriver with all the bits. And I have in there uh, the biggest torx bit that this one had, which is stamped as a T20. It is a little small for this, but it fits just perfectly. So actually, I'm not going to say it's a little small. It's the right size. So it's stamped as a torx T20. So I'm going to say that's the size bit that you need. And we just unscrew this. Yeah, so pop it up front, pop there, pop there, and out comes the panel. Anything that is orange, don't touch. This is the cabin air filter right here, uh, and which means that this panel is going to have to come out. So that's the next step, is this panel right underneath the glove box. Now this panel uh, has these little pop clips, that's what I call them, uh, in it. Uh, one of them is right here by my index finger. The other one is very clearly on screen right here. And there's another screw that's supposed to go there, but in our car it's missing. So, eh. so I'm going to pop these out. There's a proper tool for this, and I have one, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to be using a flathead uh, screwdriver to pop these out. It's kind of... Get it in there and work my way around. Oh, I can, yeah, that just pops better that way. So, here again. There we go. And now that it's popped out, get this there. And now this panel is clear. So as it turns out, I was wrong. I need more tools than this because the smallest socket in this is not small enough for this screw here. So I had to break out my socket set and I have a five and a half millimeter socket on it. And we're gonna undo this screw. After we take out that screw, there's another one right here. Should be able to come off with the same socket. There we go, and now that's out. Now we're ready to take out the air filter. My fingers are a little too small to get in there, so I'm gonna use this uh, flathead to help me out. I'm gonna come in under it, and then I can grab it. Move the cables out of the way. And, oh, it's dirty. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't replaced at 20,000 miles either. But that's the old air filter out. So don't be like me. I uh, had to check uh, my video to see which direction this airflow arrow was pointing. The airflow arrow points towards the passenger compartment. So on the new air filter, we're going to line that up so that the uh get this into the camera so that the airflow is pointing into the cabin when it goes in uh, based on how it came out the slats are going to be horizontal 
So uh, then we'll just put it in. So I gotta get it in here and get these cables up out of the way. And in goes the new air filter. That is, new cabin air filter is installed. So now we just do everything in reverse. We need to start by putting this back on. Now we'll put this in there and line it up. It's got these little uh, grommets that it uh, holds onto. And then from there, should just be able to get the screws started by hand and then tighten it up with the wrench. I'm going to recommend not using a socket for this. The nut driver is a hundred times easier to do, especially since I am not left-handed. There we go. Now that's secure. Next thing we got to put this panel back on. We'll line this up here. There we go. We're going to getting this where it needs to be. And then pop that one in because I can see that one fairly easy. And then this one should be right where it's supposed to be. And it is. And that's back in. So when you're putting this one back in, there's a lot of things that have to line up. This has to line up here. This thing has to line up here. There are tongues, grooves, all of that stuff. So you get it kind of where it's supposed to go. Get that tongue in. And then everything should pop right into place, just like that. Then we get our Torx screw. Go ahead, get it started. And tighten it up. And that is what it takes to change the cabin air filter on a Fiat 500E. As more maintenance tasks come up, we'll try to add this, uh, add to this how-to video thing as maintenance things come up with the Bolt and, and some of our other vehicles, etc. And hopefully it will take you less time than it took me because I was figuring it out as I went. And hopefully because of this, you may not have to do that. Thanks for watching.